Hi everyone. It's been a while. Um, so I have... Okay, here's the thing. I can't edit this because my video editing software has not been working. It just keeps crashing whenever I try and actually edit something. So I'm just gonna attempt to talk without having to have to edit it later and just overlay it with a video of me playing the game, playing Elder Scrolls, because that's about all I can do without the software crashing. I've tried everything, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm back. I have been, I've had a busy year, and I haven't, I haven't posted for like a year. Um, well, no, I posted, I posted back in like February when we finished building our computer, and that was fun. Maybe you saw that. But yeah, so I moved. I had to move, and with that I had to sell my computer. And so I only had a laptop for like months, and um, so I'd, I wasn't playing Elder Scrolls at all, I couldn't even run it, so I replaced it with a lot of other games, you know, like point and click kind of stuff that my laptop could run. And that was fun, but I didn't have any time or resources to record, so I wasn't able to record anything. Um, so I didn't play Elder Scrolls for, whew, like eight months. And uh, when I got back on it, after we built our computer, um, it was way different. I mean, not totally different, but different enough that it was like, whoa, I can, you know, I can steal stuff now. Everyone's riding tigers. And, um, so that was interesting. So, yeah, I'm back playing it, and, uh, I've recorded a bunch, but, like I said, it's hasn't been easy to edit. So, until I figure that out, I need to figure it out soon, because the Imperial City DLC comes out in, like, four days. Um, and so I really wanted to have you know, it fixed and ready to be able to put videos of my playthrough of that. Um, with that, e that DL DLC comes with like a bunch of new stuff. Like, as you can get two more, two more vet veteran ranks, so you can get up to like vet level 16. Um, the Imperial City opens. I think I think that's the one that's in Cyrodiil. Um, uh, there's a prison and some sewers in there and the white gold tower that you can explore and there's a bunch of new gameplay and a bunch of new crown store items and if you're into that. Uh, I'm excited. Everyone has been talking about it in the Cyrodiil chat and all my guild chats. I've, I've been really into playing in Cyrodiil. I'm gonna post in the background a video of me in Cyrodiil. Um, which then, tri you know, playing in Cyrodiil a lot, getting really involved in, like, t team speak, which was scary for me because I don't do well with, like, talking to strangers. Like, I hate answering the phone because I'm, like, a millennial or whatever. Because I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting people to be mean because this is my first MMO. And all I know about MMOs is that people are jerks. But I've come to find out that not, everyone's are, not everyone is a jerk. Only a few people really total jerks. Um, and people are less jerk less of jerks when they're on TeamSpeak, which is like a chat room thing, app, app, um, what do they call it on Windows? It's not an app, it's a program, I don't know. Um, you can like get in a, you can talk to people, like talk, talk through a microphone. And so it took me about a couple weeks to get comfortable enough to like talk on there. I talked yesterday for the first time and um, it was fine. People are nice. But yeah, I've been I've been having fun on TeamSpeak, getting really into like guild my guild stuff and like Cyrodiil. I've been Cyrodiling it up like crazy. Um, for some reason, I'm just so, so into it. And I, I realized m that my build, my character build, was really weak. And so I did a bunch of research and realized that I've been playing as a Templar archer, which uh, I'm sure some of you guys are like, yeah, right, don't ever do that. But it's a tough build to play, and I've done okay. I've done okay so far, but um, in Cyrodiil, it's really weak uh, in a lot of ways. And so, you'll see in the video that I just kind of like spam the silver shards um, fighters guild ability that I have on my on my on my abilities bar. I spam that a lot. I don't think it does much, but um, I wanted to do something. Because, I mean, my play style, I love getting up. I mean, I guess it depends on my mood. My mood always depends on my mood. So sometimes I'll get on and I'll be like, you know what? I'm in the mood to sneak and shoot arrows at people from afar and, t you know, pick off targets. But for the most part, when I get on to play, I'm in the mood to just... I mean, you know, you know how I play. I run headlong into battle 
without thinking much and planning much beforehand and um, usually ends in me dying or dead. But I realized in Cyrodiil, I can't just do that because people have to res you and so your death, you dying over and over and over isn't always like the nicest thing for people, especially when you're trying to get like a castle or a, a resource taken over. And um, if you keep dying, people are going to have to keep resurrecting you. And that takes soul gems on their part, which are money. And, you know, it's just easier if you can somehow figure out how to stay alive. So I reassigned all of my um, abilities, points, and everything. And I've redone my build. So I, I'm, I'm doing dual wield, which is also something I really like to do. Dual wield Templar. Back up. Back with like a support of bow, of you know range, and so I haven't. This this video has none of that build in it. I just did this yesterday, so the in the future videos I'll be posting, you'll see me experimenting with that build. Um, it's a right now. I don't know if it should be stamina or magicka based. Right now it's just kind of like both, and I'm trying to figure out what that even means because everyone's always like, oh yeah, I'm a stam, I'm a stam build. Templar, DPS or, DPS, or tank, or whatever, and it's like, okay, I need to go to an, like some sort of dictionary to look up all these words and what they all mean, and I did, I did that, and now I kind of get it. So I don't know if I'm a Stam build or a Magicka build yet. Um, so yeah, leave stuff in the comments about that. I don't know what what, what worked for you guys. Um, I know I don't want to be a tank. I'm definitely DPS, and. I can heal because I'm a Templar and the Templars are the best healers. That's what I've been doing the last couple months. And now, so I'm now vet, I'm a vet level six, almost level seven. So I'm getting up there. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun. Um, the new stuff since I played last is like really great. I love stealing stuff. Like I spent like a solid, I don't know, 12 game hours, maybe not that many, but a lot just thieving. It felt like Skyrim again. It felt like the older games. It was nice. Um, got murdered by a lot of city guards. But then I learned how to evade them and run and, you know, hide. I mean, before I finish, I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted, this is just kind of like meant to be just an update, like, hey, I'm still here, what I've been doing. I just want to let you guys what I've been doing, where I've been, and that um, I'm excited to keep adding to this channel, even though I took a little bit of a hiatus. Other games I'll be playing. I do want to start playing some other games because moderation and everything is good and having a balance and everything is good. So I wanted to just not play this game so, so, so much because my personality is one that like when I get into something, I only do that thing until I get completely worn out on it. And so I need to start balancing it because I feel like this could easily turn into one of those things where it's like, oh, I've played this for months straight and now I'm completely burned out. So I have a list of other games I want to play. Like, I want to start playing Dragon Age. I bought that. There's a sale on Origin the other day, so I bought that because everyone keeps telling me it's good and my friend worked on some artwork for it and I saw her artwork and I was like, that is... Oh, that's beautiful. I want to play it. Um, so I, I downloaded that and then I've got Tomb Raider the newest one. I think it came out last year. Um, uh, then, th I mean, that's up there with may maybe I want to play it. I want to play Last of Us, but it scares the freaking crap out of me, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, and then I thought about, well, then, then there's Wolfenstein, and that looked fun. Um, and then I kind of want, I thought about doing some older stuff, like going back and playing older Elder Scrolls games, like um, even all the way back to Arena, if there's some way to get that on this computer? Probably. It's probably like a, I don't know, what do they call them? Like an emulator? Or maybe they just have it. I'll, I'll check it out. Or like uh, Morrowind and Daggerfall and Oblivion and Skyrim would be really fun to get back into. Skyrim would be fun. I That's where I started playing and it's always going to be my favorite. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would want to see any of those or make some suggestions because I love hearing people, even if it's just some really weird, obscure game that you thought would be fun to, to look like would be fun to play, um, let me know. I thought about playing some old Pokemon games, because those never get old for me, like getting an emulator for some of the old Game Boy ones. So I, other games I have been playing are um, Don't Starve. That one's been fun and frustrating. Um, and a lot of, like, rogue, 
Are they, it's, is that the kind of game that's like, like just survival stuff? Like I've been playing um, this one called Neo Scavenger, which is really fun. It's like set in a post-apocalyptic Detroit. Um, that one's been fun. And then I've been playing this one called This War of Mine, and um, it's like you have to survive in a siege city. It's based on like the Bosnian conflict from the 90s. It's sad. It's really sad. And I think it's more of a statement than a game, but I really enjoy it. I've played a lot. Anyway, I guess, I mean, that's, that's all I have to say. Um, so that's it. That's my update. Uh, stay, stick around to see more um, videos posted, hopefully. Hopefully, especially videos of the new DLC, because I'm on that when it comes out. I'm really excited. That's it. Thanks, guys.